Welcome back to the Guitar Club. My name is Diego and today we're going to learn how to play the classic, the old classic by the Rolling Stones, My Girl. Probably one of my favorites from 1967. The only thing that you need is your acoustic guitar or electric if you wish. Tune on E standard and get ready to rock. Uh, the riff that I just played is the intro riff uh, starting on a A open, fifth string. And then it plays this kind of pentatonic pattern um, from the second fret. You're gonna play the second fret and the fourth fret starting from the fifth string. So you're gonna play the fifth string, A open, and then place your finger on the second fret, fifth string, and play. Second fret, fourth fret, second fret, fourth fret on the D string, and you're gonna finish on the second fret, G string. So it goes like this. Say that the song actually starts with the bass, and that's the first part of the, of the guitar. So they play, they play that riff a couple of times. And then they start with the verse. I'm going to repeat it one more time, starting on the A open, and then following this pentatonic pattern from the second fret, A string, you're going to play 2 4 on the A, 2 4 on the D, and finish on the uh, second fret, G string, two times. Next part of the song is the verse that continues playing the same lick. Uh, starting on the A, and then they do a variation of the same riff starting from the D. Goes like this. So I start, instead of starting with the A, I'm going to play the D, which is on the A string, 5th fret. I'm using my pinky to play that note. And then coming back to the 2nd and 4th fret on the D string, you're going to play D a couple of times. You're going to do 2 and 4, uh, from 2 to 4 you're going to play like a hammer roll. And then go to the G string and play 2, 4, 2. I'm going to play, going to play very slow, and you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. One more time on the D. So when you put those two parts together, it sounds like that. This is from the verse. Starting from the A. D. Hammer on from 2 to 4 on the D string. 2, 4, 2 on the G. And play one more time. Cool. Then you have the pre-chorus. Uh, we're going to play a bunch of chords in there. Starting from the A major. First they're going to play it and they're going to break it down. I think that's easier. with pre-chorus. The only thing I'm doing with the picking, with my strumming actually, is just going down, down, um, following the beat, basically. So, A major. Down, down, you play A major, if you're not familiar with that, with that chord, on the fifth string. Then you're gonna jump on a bar chord, B minor, following the beat, down, down, followed by a D major, to finish with it. E major. Capital rounds of the same chord progression. If you're not familiar with the, uh, with the chords, A major is on second fret, um, D string, G and D, put something like this, then you go to bar chord, B, Standard minor chord, the bar on the second fret, finger on the third fret, a D string. This one on the, what am I? Four fret, D string, and this one on the G, right hand. B, then you go to D major, and the E major. 
those are our chords. With the close up, we'll do it one more time. A, B, D, and the E. Sometimes I play the A like a power chord, just with one finger instead of like the full uh, chord. I just do it with one finger. They hang on that uh, A major. A major. The strumming pattern that I'm using here. Down, down, up, up, down. We're going to play a couple of rounds. B, but on the B we're going to play only one round to finish on an E major, playing down and a palm mute, you just kill the sound in that. So this is our chord, our chorus, sorry. Great, um, that is for the for the chorus. Then the song carry on the same the same pattern, but you change the key. They change the key instead of starting with the A, they're gonna replace that with a B. So it sounds something like this. And the second time instead of being a D, they're gonna start with a E. Tonic pattern. Instead of playing the fifth string, the A open, you can place your finger on the A string, second fret, and start from that. You play B, that note by itself, use a B, and then repeat it. And your E, you're gonna find it on the second fret, D string, which is the fourth string. So you hit E, and then again. Same effect with the hammer on E, then finishing on the G string, which is your third string, two, four, two. We play very slow. Following um, goes like this the pre chorus, it's the same pick, uh, same strumming pattern that we did with the A, the B minor, the D, and the E. But now the chords are going to be B major, that normally you play this way, but to play more comfortable for me, I'm going to do it like this. Close up the camera. Down, down on that one. Then you're going to play a C sharp minor on the fourth fret. It's the same shape as you play as a B minor, but you're going to drag it to the fourth fret. Play down, down. Followed by an E major to finish with an F sharp major. If you're not familiar with that chord, have a closer look. Bar all across the second fret. This finger is going to go on the G string. That one's going to go on the G, G string third fret. Sorry, this one's going to go on the fourth fret A string, and that one right under your pinky. So it looks something like that. And you play all the strings. So that's our pre-chorus, uh, pre starting from the B, C sharp, E major. F sharp, couple of rounds. And to finish with the chorus on the on the new key, which is the B. Same, uh, same strumming on the B major. C sharp minor. And finish with the F sharp 
only once and you kill yourself. I'm gonna play a bit slower. B major. Down, down, up, up, down. If I'm playing the, the chord with this um, with this shape, I'm kind of like my up stroke, I play from the B string. I'm trying not to hit the, um, the E high. That's kind of the end of the song, they just carry on playing, then the volume goes down, and that's the end. Very classic from those days. Um, and what they play is this. On the F sharp. So you go C, couple of rounds from there, down, then up, up, down. Go to the C, uh, C sharp minor. That's all it is. If you made it this far from the video, thanks very much for watching. I hope the tutorial helps and then you enjoy the song as much as I do. Let me know in the comments and uh, and actually if you made it this far, just hit the subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thanks very much.